Hey there guys, welcome back one more time with the crowd with me. It's the wonderful Rox coming in from the team of Ace. Rox coming in now to this Challenger Cup season 3 champion. So definitely off to a, a nice start already in the past. I mean, how are you feeling coming into this one? Uh, it's definitely going to be... Well, I'm excited, a little bit nervous. Uh, I just kind of hope we do our best. Yeah, nervous. How come? Uh, I mean, I haven't been, because I've been on Ignite for a while, so it's kind of just been sitting up in Master Tier. I haven't actually played on main roster since Master, like, was implemented as a system. So wow. it's, been a, it's been a while. So this will be my first time playing in, like, any sort of cup thing. Because last time I didn't have to, like, do all this extra stuff to get into Masters, kind of got the star. So now we gotta, <laughs> now we gotta, now we gotta go through this process, I guess. And... <laughs> Damn, dude, I just have to put the effort in this time. <laughs> yeah, uh, damn sucks, dude. That's cool, though. I mean, so you made your own team up this time. Are, are you, like, did you do it because you just wanted to make your own team and do your own thing? Uh, actually, Saluna and Rosie came to me and said they wanted to make a team. Because, I mean, like, the two of them have been playing together forever. And me and them have been playing together for a long time as well in various, like, different side leagues and stuff, but never in VML. Mm -hmm. And eventually, like, after VRPL, after uh, they put together NEPA, and uh, we played together at LAN, at the Redshift LAN, and eventually, just like, you know what, let's just do it in VRML too, why not? And so, we got the team. Hey, dude, that's a good yeah. reason, man. That's a damn good reason. All right, it'll be cool to see how you guys play together then for this first uh, competition together. Anything that you're going to try and pull in particular to make to help get you that win? It's going to be different from what you've done in the past? Uh, I mean, we've changed some stuff up. Just kind of trying to just adjust some of our losses we've had and uh, going up on the ladder, uh, adjusting to bringing the new sub on for the CC. So uh, it's definitely going to be, we've definitely had to make some adjustments, but I'm feeling pretty good. Sweet, dude. Yeah, perfect. All right, cool. Um, so anything that you do want to say then to our lovely viewers at home? Make them cheer for you for this one? Uh, I mean, nothing really. I think we got a pretty good chance. I don't know if we're necessarily the favorite, so maybe we'll get some underdog fans. But uh, <laughs> we're definitely up there, so I don't know how much of that we'll get. So, uh, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, good reason, dude. Good reason. Go on, cheer along for uh, the aces here. And best of luck, dude. We'll see you in there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, man. Hey guys, I'm Newton Dad, and right here we have the bite of 87. Gentlemen, yeah, baby. you guys are currently ranked numero uno, the top dog, undefeated team in the ladder. How does it feel going into Challenger Cup looking that good? Well, uh. uh <laughs> well, it, it, feel, it, feels, it, it, it feels good, man. Um, you know, my girlfriend always said I was the top dog, and so. <laughs> <laughs> we're going. We're going into this with a, with a strong mentality, and we're uh, we're ready to we're ready to eat some cake. Yeah. Or take huh? take the cake. <laughs> yeah. oh, smart. Cake the way it goes. You know, yeah. you, you guys. Uh, what's what's been the the biggest challenge in uh, in this this first cycle of the season? Um, uh, really, what do you, what do you think? Um, I think the biggest challenge was. What are you doing? Anyways, I think the biggest challenge was Earth, like just trying to get like. Because we're f kind of like a new team, so I think in the, the beginning of the season it was kind of difficult to like get that main roster ready, and then after, and then we picked up swag and time, and then we finally kind of just got that main roster. Right. So, yeah, so the, that, yeah, that, that is kind of a point. Uh, uh, Pigeon, the, the roster's changed over time, <laughs> over the whole season. You know, you guys have seen it be after different overkill. things. Is it? You know, how's how is it? What's it been like trying to adjust week on week, player or, or new players being around? Um, you know, these guys are these guys are a lot to deal with. Um, <laughs> they uh, they could they could be better, but um, you know, they're uh, they 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 bring their uh, you know they got a good mental strength and they're they're okay players. They have some clips. You should check out Times YouTube channel. It's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, the roster changes have been uh, it's been a lot, but you know we're all friends here. We all hang out in VC all the time, so. Yeah. I think we have probably one of the strongest mentals of mo most of the Challenger Cup teams out there. Right. I mean, mental is most of the game, as we all know. Time, speaking of mental, 
How do you keep your head in the game when, <laughs> when things are going crazy? I listen to a Eye of the Tiger like 24 7 while I'm playing the game. Always got the. Nice. He's got the eye of the time. Another, another great 80s reference. Good year was alive in the 80s. Um, in, uh, 87? Anybody? You're old. You're old. 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 Only one. Old. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, guys. Where are you? Sorry, Newton. Just... Newton, Ted. Um, well, actually, do you know what the bite of 87 is? I do. Yeah, actually. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I do. Could you, could, you tell, could you tell them what the bite could, of 87 is? the audience? Well, you know... I, let Swagwar explain it, or otherwise he's going to get spring trapped. So tell us what the bite is. What's the strategy to jump scare out there for this weekend? We've uh, we when we've been scrimming a lot of the Challenger Cup teams, we have hidden like eighty percent of our plays. Specifically, yeah, so have, they have no idea what we're going to do during Challenger Cup, yeah, and that's sort of our strength like, going in. We have eighty plays. 87 plays. We have 87 plays, and that's it. We're not making any more. <laughs> you, guys, you guys will take care. It was good to see you guys, and, and thanks a lot. Yeah. Right, thank you. Bye bye. Guys, back again for another interview here for these Challenger Cups. We have with me Desirable and Spin coming in for T. What team are you guys? A E. Yeah. Ah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of ways you can pronounce it. Wait. I first obvious the, question. Uh, why why that name? Um. Because we're not very I creative. <laughs> I don't know. I just found it and I was like, screw it. And then Azon's like, here, I have a logo. Take it. I, I like it. I like it though. So you found yeah. the name? Yeah, pretty much. I just kind of was like, AE. <laughs> also, I did have some inspiration from, um, who's that guy? Oh, yeah, Elon. Oh. Elon Musk's kid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, so your team is named after Elon Musk's kid. Guys, so, coming into the Challenger Cup, how are you feeling about your odds so far? How are you feeling about the whole thing? I like uh, it. I feel I like mean, we're doing with... good. With all the scrims, I mean, yeah, we're doing like for the well, sc last scrim I played, we kind of like it wasn't the best, but it was really funny. So I think like as a team, <laughs> we're all good in terms of like people, but we just need to uh, tidy ourselves up as like players, right? Because yeah, we yeah. haven't we haven't played a while. We've done we've been kind of slacking on scrims a bit mainly. They don't let me shoot threes in scrims. No, oh spin, no, buddy. <laughs> Hey yeah, guys, come on here, come on here a little bit. You, you're so far away from me, I feel lonely. Not that close! Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, come around here. Go on this side, it's nice and cozy around the side. You know, pretty much we just like, I haven't been in the scrims often, mainly because I'm letting them have like their time to play because I'm not able to play at the moment for specific reasons. But they, I'm having them play and in return, I'm not doing anything. I'm kind of just on my own. I'm still staying warm though. Those, I don't know, he, he just plays pubs all day, so. No, I don't. <laughs> Other than watching <laughs> movies. I went snowboarding for the first time over the weekend. <laughs> that was so unexpected. How was it, dude? How was it? How was it? It was good. My first run, I like fell over and hit a kid, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, dude. <laughs> Proud of you, buddy. Proud of you. We Best luck with it, crack. and I will see you in there. We'll see. <laughs> hey. Touch him like that. <laughs> All right, guys. Hello again. Welcome back. I'm joined now by two of members from Click. Boys, how's it going? Coming into this Challenger Cup, how are you feeling? Confident. Too confident. We need to be humbled. <laughs> feeling good. <laughs> Too confident. You reckon, you, are you feeling like you're gonna win at the minute then? No, we we definitely are gonna have to work for it. That has been proven by what last week's matches. I don't know. <laughs> well, not 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 going yeah. well. Are they not, I mean, we uh, took our first L. That was unfortunate. First first loss of the season. Well, that was I didn't I didn't play in it. Shut up, Chuck. <laughs> damn, <laughs> first loss of the season though is is yeah, pretty damn good. I feel like we started off when we first started playing. We were like clicking really good and like hitting uh, everything, and then like we kind of like 
trying to work through some chemistry things, and then I think I feel like we're coming out of it though. Now I feel like we're getting there. Quote from Will: Tonight was a breakthrough. <laughs> Tonight, a breakthrough. in, in no, chemistry that's or a in previous night? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> last night. Yeah, it was like okay, a five-hour-long so breakthrough. You're saying it's chemistry though. You've improved your chemistry now. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think. Um, just like the communication between like the front and the back sacks is something we've been trying to work on and like when to like switch and things and then all of us all of us have played together before but i think like our like paths and how we like react to different situations is something we're just like still working through sure but yeah and that and um i mean if you've only got one loss this season that is a pretty good sign of uh potentially finding that master rank right uh Hopefully. I think so. That's, we haven't... Yeah, I mean, yeah we, 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 haven't had, we haven't played Ace or 87, which is, I think, really the top two. Yeah? Uh, who are you uh, most worried about outside of Ace and, and 87? Um, outside of Havoc those two. Took us to probably, three rounds. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, Havoc. Havoc, yeah. They, our match against them was a tough one. It was tough. I don't yeah. think we feel like we played our best, but it was still, like, it was a tough match to pull out. Well, you know, to see how it goes coming into this. I mean, you guys had your practice. Uh, you warm as well. But anything else you guys want to say? Last messages to the people watching at home. Don't be a walnut. <laughs> we love you people at home. <laughs> awesome. Right, thanks, guys. And uh, best of luck in your matches. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he's got my back. Hey everyone, I'm Offbeat. I am here with the esteemed members of G2X, uh, one of our most noteworthy Challenger Cup competitors. Thank you guys for, for coming to be here. You, you guys Absolutely. excited for the cup? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I should hope so. You guys have had quite the season coming into this. You start off real hot, the 5-0 run, and then a little little trouble near the end, but you managed to sneak in right at the last second to snatch that last spot. How are you, how are you yes. guys feeling? <laughs> uh, we're feeling good. Um, last two weeks, I think, we had some trouble with Ace and 87. They're both really good teams, but... It was mainly the mental game, and we didn't really play at 100 percent. So I think that if we do play at 100 percent, I think we have a better chance. So yeah, we're looking forward to Challenge Cup this week. Yeah. yeah, yeah, still feeling good about it. That's awesome. Good to hear. Good to hear. You guys uh, gonna be changing anything up too much, or you think you just you've got your game ready, you've got you've j you've got your systems, and you're ready to just kind of roll with that, and 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 you think you've got what it takes with that. Um, we've been looking at a little bit of changes team-wise, like just team comp-wise and the way we're going to play. Um, we're not 100% sure, sure yet, but we will be sure by Friday. But uh, yeah, hope you guys look forward to that. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Is anyone yeah. Else want to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> this is the open floor. Anything you want to say yeah, to all your adoring fans? Thing? Why should everyone be cheering for G2X? Uh, we're, this the we're the underdogs. We're the underdogs. We are the underdogs. Exactly. Nobody thinks we're going to win. So, uh, this is, however we well, do. for some of us, uh, this is, well, for all of us, actually, this is our first Challenger Cup. <coughs> and, That's uh, we're actually really hyped. <laughs> shut, shut up. That's never we're actually tested. very hyped to join. And, yeah. We yeah. practice a lot yeah. and over the off season, and we think that we have a small chance. So. Awesome. We're definitely the underdogs, the underdogs, proved by the Hexlink Apples voting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. We, we have some haters, but it's fine. A lot of haters. A lot of haters. A lot, a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of you, you built up some enemies over, over your, uh, yeah, your first like few weeks? Yeah, they don't like that with yeah. CC. <laughs> nah, that's, that's understandable. Fine, <laughs> All right, though. well, best of luck to you guys. Um, you. And we'll, we'll be rooting for you. And a quick punch for all of you. Well done. Whoa! I got him back. <laughs> oh, he's a hater the whole time. Can I show off yeah, my so face ability? Cringe. How are you gonna win Challenger Cup? <laughs> <laughs> By running through those teams like the Undertaker! <laughs>
All right, guys, welcome back in again. I'm joined now by the team Havoc Nightmares Got Right from NA. Guys, challenge of cap time. How are you feeling coming into it? Oh, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. I feel pretty good. <laughs> I'm muting myself. I'm muting myself. No, 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 Faker, go on, Faker, go, go on, give me your thoughts. How are you feeling? Okay, can we cut that? No, no, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're pretty good. Uh, I'm only worried about, like, a few teams. Yeah, I was gonna say, who are you worried about coming into this? Uh, mainly 87 and Ace, but I heard, like, 87 might not have time, so that might be interesting. Speaking of, who is gonna be playing in it? Out of these, all six of you uh, here, who's gonna be playing two the games? and him. So, yeah, me. me, Draco, Noctum, oh, yeah. Toki. Uh, Questy's hey. here, well, me and Draco and everything, so probably not gonna last. So, Mr. Neil and Mr. Fields is gonna be playing, hopefully. No, you just gotta on. charge. I'll go yeah. buy a new headset if I have to, just to make or sure. Or get a power bank like, finally. Nice, it's not a power I bank. can't afford that. Back your headset, right? Yeah, I'm too bored for that. I spent all my money at Nepal event. Can't do it. Oh. I'll just play plugged in. Yeah, but you yeah. buy a new headset, not external. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll buy a new headset. Win the tournament, get a, get yeah. a power bank. Exactly. 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 You see, guys, anything, is there power anything that you guys have been working on in the last few uh, months or whatever to try and get you this, this win here? Get you that master position? No. Has it really been a few months? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, we're mainly on. just finding like a solid roster. It's mainly been us three, like Techno Draco and I. So like the whole time we've been like trying people and just like trying to see what fits. Oh, so are these three new? Yeah, and um, us three are like the main, and then, yeah, these other ones. The rosters kind of changed quite a bit since last season. Yeah. Me and Draco are the like me, and Draco, and Fields are the main ones that kind of stayed over from Hot Drop and Win mm -hmm. Ring and everything. So I mean we. We've been kind of the main core, and then we brought Toki on, and then Toki became part of that. So we've been trying a lot of things out. We changed our play style. We don't talk as much in games anymore. Kind of, kind of changed up everything quite a bit. You don't talk as much in games? No, like, 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 no. We, I mean, we talk, but we only oh. talk when necessary. Right, yeah, right, so right. Like, <laughs> when we're on offense, we will not do red calls. We would just call positions. We just assume red. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, no red That's calls. Wild. Just because, like. Well, the reason we have yeah. is you shouldn't be holding this long right. enough to have a red call called for. You should be throwing it and getting it down. With Sensei, so you're jumping in at some point. Are you, are you pumped? Are you feeling ready for it when it happens? Yeah, I mean, somewhat. I haven't played, like, a lot. That's such a knock off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have three goalies. Oh, please. You have three goalies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have three goalies. <laughs> Um, guys, any players? last words, final questions that you want to say? Any last Ooh, words you yeah, want to say gotcha, to gotcha. people watching? So I want to give a shout out. Shout out to oh, yeah, Ice shout Dash. Out. Shout out to Ivan Thrive for making it possible <laughs> to get here, even though they did nothing to help me. All me, <laughs> by myself. Kind of you guys, and all me. I really don't think we'd be a team without Tiny Thug. I really don't. Yeah, think no, shout out to Tiny Thug. If it wasn't for Tiny Thug, we wouldn't be here right now. I think, I think dropping him was one of the better decisions. Oh, you dropped him? Well, we didn't really drop no, him. No, he left. <laughs> he left. But without Tiny Dog's great captainism, we wouldn't be here. May he rest his soul right now. Thank you. Sick, guys. All right, perfect. Thanks so much. That's yeah, great. I can't wait to see you. Best of luck in the, the matches. Yes, thank you very much. I'll play a shot for you. Hey everyone, <laughs> I'm Offbeat. I am here with uh, two esteemed members of Hexalink Apples, one of the late additions to the Challenger Cup this weekend. By all, by all accounts, I'm sure you guys are really uh, excited for this opportunity, aren't you? Honestly. Yeah, we're it's... super excited. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> can we, can we <laughs> I'm super excited to be here with you and uh, playing CC. Excellent, excellent. So uh, yeah, you guys uh, got in a little last minute. What's your what's your season been like so far for anyone who hasn't been following you uh, through this year? Um, it's been pretty solid. We've had a couple um, rough patches there in between the season, but we've been, we've been doing pretty solid uh, so far in beating teams. Yeah, awesome. Have you had a chance to kind of scope out what the teams are? They're going to be playing in the cup here. Uh, got any experience against any of them that you think uh, think might be helpful coming up? Um, I think it might be helpful to have like a basis understanding of what we're up against. Um, we've played most of the teams in it, so we do feel pretty comfortable going into this. Um, I'm feeling very confident. What do you think, Slots? 
I mean, yeah, like he said, we played a, a few teams before uh, in the actual like season. So we're uh, we're gonna get our strategy down and hopefully hope for the best, honestly. Yeah, awesome. So uh, where are you guys? Where are most of you guys? Like, how did you get together? How did you become Hexalink Apples? What, well, what brought you all here? So, well, we had an old captain who, who was golden. And um, and then he brought on Slides and Jake, actually. And then I, t I took over. And, and then we brought in, and then we have Gunny now. Gunny Saw playing for us now, too. We just picked him up. And we're super excited to play with Gunny Saw. And then we got Jake and Slides, too, which I'm super excited to play with in CC. Um, I think it'll be a great experience. Um, we actually got the name Apples because I drink a lot of apple juice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, well done. Uh, I, I, too, drink... Some apple juice, Pro probably yeah. not. Enough there we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I drink a lot. Like, like it's a pre-game like ritual. A it's a pre uh, it ritual. is. I drink. I drink <laughs> a apple, literally it, a full-on apple and apple juice before the game. You've you've heard it right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's yeah. that's exciting. That's oh that's, yeah. It's trademarked. That's gonna give you the, the edge, right? It's, it's trademarked. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. It gives okay. me the edge. If you know what I mean? <laughs> um, pretty addicting. Yeah, yeah, I, I I can definitely see that. So why should everyone be cheering for you guys over over all the other competition you're gonna have this weekend? Ooh, I think I think they should cheer for us, and um, and I think that's because I think we've we've been doing pretty solid um, overall, and I feel like I feel like the guys on my team are just are just are just great guys, and I feel like I feel like we're a, a great team. Um, not really toxic at all, and, and we love the community too. And um, if you like apples, you should really uh, come out and uh, support us. The team for all the for all the the Apple fans. Oh, no yeah. Android yes. fans allowed. Thank you. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no thank you. Get out of here. Cut. Apple. Apple. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Offbeat. Welcome to another another interview with another one of our Challenger Cup teams. Probably the uh, most well-known team competing in the Challenger Cup this year. We've got Kangorillas coming in as the lone master team for this Challenger Cup. Uh, high expectations on you guys, I imagine, coming in as the you know the top seed, the the highest ranks. There's probably a lot of pressure on this one for you, isn't there? Absolutely, we do feel the pressure. We've, uh, we've, you know, Wit and I have done Challenger Cups before. I know Loveridge hasn't, so it'll be a new experience for him. He's used to competing at the top of the top, but <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll show him, you know, we're gonna get, we're gonna get right back there and we'll get in the mix again. Awesome. I know you guys have had kind of a rough season so far. We don't need, we don't need to go into it. I'm sure it's, it's probably not what you were dreaming of at the start of the year. Uh, you guys planning on changing anything much coming to this Challenger Cup or just kind of heading the course and working on fine tuning what you've already got? Well, I we think started that working we're... on a new comm system, right? So uh, I think that's just taking some adapting. For example, instead of a uh, match of rounds, we're now ta we're calling it a pouch of Joey's uh, because that's more in theme with <laughs> The kangorilla thing. <laughs> and, Wait, you're giving away of, too many of our secrets. Too many, too many. But it's okay. I, Keep going. We have Keep a lot going. of secrets. It's fine. Um, we also have a play that we're now calling Boomerang. It had an, another name before. So a lot of our issues, I think, are just because we're not really on the same page with the comms. And I think that'll work out as yeah. time goes on. Yeah. So, yeah. Got to change more and more of your calls to Australian kangaroo gorilla theme. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That, that was the problem. I, I, I get you. Um... Any uh, anything else you want to say to to people who might be cheering to get some fresh blood in the Challenger Cup? There's a lot of teams here uh, looking for your head. Any any of those that you're really worried or you've been really not worried, but like looking out for and seeing these guys are probably going to be our toughest competition. No, no one in particular. Honestly, we can lose anybody. We could beat anybody. So you have to respect every team. Yeah, for sure. Uh, anything, anything else you would like to say to uh, your adoring fans? Why should they be cheering for you guys specifically? Why should the Kangorillas fans just outnumber everyone else by a mile? Well, I think for one reason we have Loveridge, who's one of the like 
the greatest players from the very beginning of the game. He's been playing the game forever. Everyone loves him and knows him. And then the rest of us are also pretty, uh, pretty liked in the community, I think. So, so you should definitely cheer for Ken Gorillas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>